many of you have ever walked into a club meeting and as soon as you walked in, somebody said, we still need to evaluate. <laughs> And under the door you were met, we need another judge. Would you be a judge? <laughs> well, because of that, sometimes I like to relax. And I deliberately come five minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> but I was early today. And guess what? That was a note. Would you help us? Would you announce the club anniversaries? Well, we don't have a list. Now, you know, I may be around for a while, but I'm not all known. So just to be sure, I brought my old age glasses so I can see what's on the screen. Joan has talked about giving birth to new clubs, and that's important. It's an important aspect of every district to chop a new clubs and to grow the Toastmaster organization. But like every child, the child has to be nurtured. It has to be taught. And sometimes the child gets sick and needs to be healed. And we went through the same phases with Toastmasters clubs. It's not natural that they go without problems, without illness, without difficulties, without challenges. So we're here today to celebrate some of the clubs that have overcome adversities at times, that have had challenges and survived. I think the first two years of a club are really critical just like for a Toastmaster. Now, how many Toastmasters do you know that said, oh, I'm too shaky, I have the jiggles. I need a fever medicine so I can give my icebreaker speech. <laughs> but once you overcome that initial feel, it's not necessarily smooth sailing, but at least sailing in the same for clubs. We don't celebrate the second anniversary, which I think is a critical one. Any new club that can survive the first two years is well on the road. He has passed those childhood diseases. But the first one that we celebrate is five years anniversary, and then we celebrate them in five year intervals. And right now, I'm kind of stalling a little bit for time because I haven't been privileged to the program and I'm, my understanding is that the district down is supposed to be up here and that there's supposed to be clubs lining up so I can introduce them. I see now a list of five years, but I think I'm going to come down here. No problem. <laughs> As he said, I may look old, but I'm still young. <laughs> so this way I can lead the clubs. Now, would the, the district governor come up to the... Yes, sir. Maya, Mr. Vargas, next, yeah. Would our district governor, Kyle Rotti, our lieutenant governor of education and training, Trina Vasini, and our lieutenant governor of marketing, please join our past district governor to recognize these clubs and their announcements. You know, that kind of reminds me, at lip speaking, extemporaneous speaking, sometimes it's more important than prepared speeches. Because prepared speeches, you have all the time to prepare. But when you are asked to do something at lip, it's a little more challenging. But come to think of it, aren't we surrounded every day, every moment, with table topics? Yes. Yes. And that's why I think personally that mastering table topics is more important than repaired speeches. 
because that's what really brings us success in the family, the job, whatever we do. Are we ready, Madam LGM? Yes, we are. Okay. What are the representatives of those clubs that have survived the first five years of existence? Come forward as I read the names. Crystal Clear Toastmasters. I know this guy, he's been a long time. Thomas Watson Toastmasters Club. Like the 15s are long missing. 
or I'll still be here tomorrow. Are we ready for the next one? 20 years. Well, the first one on that list, I feel very close to it because it's a specialty club. It was the first club in the world speaking only German. Polyglots. Anybody here from Polyglots? Thank you. You know, when you're in a specialty group like this, there are many ailments and there are many challenges because you can't just go out and recruit members. Now we have a French club coming and we have a Spanish club and that's exciting to be multilingual in the Chicago area. Old folks speak us. And talk of Lincolnshire, I know that. Now, since they've not given me a script of 
know what to do, and since I have the floor, <laughs> what I'd like to do is have all the clubs that have been listed with anniversaries tonight stand up and get a big hand. All anniversaries tonight. I have 30 seconds to finish up. <laughs> Which gives me a chance to walk over to this side of the room and greet this side of the room as well. I want to thank you for being such a great audience and for recognizing these clubs that have survived as long as 65 years. It is a tremendous achievement and it's been my pleasure to introduce these clubs to you, and I now turn control of the lectern over to our Jedi man. Let me get everyone just to stand up for a second, you know, kind of get back to 2011. 